Detroit police just announcing that the department is launching an internal investigation into the 911 response time to a deadly motorcycle accident. Witnesses say they called for help right away and did not get a response. 7 Actions reporter Rudy Harper just finished talking with Chief James Craig. So Rudy, what else did the chief have to say? Hey, Alan and Carolyn. Yeah, Chief Craig just wrapped up that press conference. He says they are still looking into this matter and trying to figure out why a supervisor drove past that fatal crash scene instead not stopping just driving by a 22 year old man died after he wrecked his motorcycle into a light pole friends who were with Michael Blackwell say they called 911 numerous times for help but were unable to get in touch with a dispatcher however police now disputing that claim Chief Craig said the first initial call to 911 was answered and fire and EMS were dispatched but he admits at least three calls to 911 after that initial call were placed on hold. Craig also said EMS and fire was on scene within five minutes of that first call. I don't have the answers yet as to why the supervisor didn't stop. Uh, did the supervisor believe it was a medical emergency only? Um, not certain. Did the supervisor hear the call announced? Uh, more times than not, he probably wasn't dispatched to call. Uh, we do know that the supervisor was completing another call of the missing. But that said, uh, how long would it have taken to just stop, investigate, find out uh, the time it will take for the uh, response unit to get there? So police still trying to piece this together. Chief did say that EMS and fire were on scene when that supervisor drove by. As we mentioned, an internal investigation underway right now to know more about why that supervisor did not stop or if he was even told to stop. We'll keep digging into this matter and let you know what happens. Live outside headquarters, I'm Rudy Harper, 7 Action News. All right.